Amy Meadows' cheeks burned from the hot tears she cried. Angrily, she dug her trowel into the ground, not caring that dirt flew everywhere. What have I done wrong? I've planted, watered, trimmed, and fertilized, and this stupid garden still won't grow. How could it be dying after all I've done? She wasn't just talking about the garden. She was referencing the state of her marriage also. She loved her husband and had tried just about all she could do to make their life perfect. Preston wasn't satisfied. Despite all she did to please him, he still felt compelled to step outside of their marriage. A blind man could have seen that he was cheating because he didn't bother to hide it. Amy had chosen the wrong moment to look up from her garden. When she did, she saw her husband with his head thrown back and knew instantly what it was. She had seen that stance before. In times past, it was she who caused it by performing oral sex on him. He was having an orgasm. He was with her, Marisol. It was bad enough that he was cheating with their housekeeper but to allow her into their bedroom was disrespectful. Amy had told her before to stay away from her husband, but Preston instructed the buxom housekeeper not to pay any attention to his wife. Don't listen to her. We're married in name only at this point. You're the only woman I want in my bed, he said. Now, no matter what Amy did or said, the insolent housekeeper disregarded everything that she told her to do. Marisol walked around haughtily as if she was the woman of the house. From the outside looking in, one would think that the roles were reversed. Amy did more cleaning than the actual housekeeper. Because of the hostile relationship between the two women and to save face, Amy always gave Marisol the day off whenever she would have guests over. The last thing she needed was for the women in the league to see how she was disrespected by the help. Surely they would question why Amy hadn't fired the wench, and she couldn't tell them the truth. How could she? What would she say? Oh, I can't fire her because she's not just any maid. She's my husband's paramour, and he prefer her more than he does me.